Sometimes I can't believe this is my job, but I'm glad it is. Definitely a happy camper today. Hanging out in the camping chairs in front of the tent. We got a whole setup that we're going to show you around later in the show. You'll have to stay tuned for that. But overall in Tennessee, there are 57 different state parks. There are six lodges and 36 campgrounds. Some of those include Big Ridge State Park, and we've also, that's in Mayor, Maynardville, excuse me, Cumberland Mountain State Park, Norris Dam State Park, Frozen Head State Park, Panther Creek State Park in Hamblin County, Fort Loudon State Park, Seven Island State Park in Knox County. All of them feature walking trails. Some have camping. There are also picnic places and all kinds of nature to enjoy. Some even have kayaking. I'll have more on that later in the show as well. But for a complete list of those Tennessee state parks, you can go to the Tennessee State Parks website and also find out what each individual state park has to offer. Here at Cove Lake, we have got 606 acres. We've set up camp on a little slice of that, but we are also surrounded by the Cumberland Mountains, so it's a very picturesque view. That is for sure. There are 106 campsites. We are at campsite 91, so we're near the end of that roster, but they also have grills picnic tables, water and electricity hookup. They've even got a volleyball court, a playground. We pass that on the way in as well. And people can camp here all year round, even in the winter months. Right now, it's a great day to be out here in the summer, but be sure and bring a bike for some bike riding because there's plenty of trails around here as well. And uh, you can also bring some friends for some fireside chats and laughter. Don't forget those s'mores either. We're going to go ahead and send things over to our Brittany Bailey, who has made a new friend while being over here at Cove Lake State Park. Hey, Brittany. It's hard not to make friends when you're out here camping, right? And I have made a good friend here with Ranger Roby Ray joining us now. Thanks so much for letting us come out and camp and showing us a lot of things, including how to make something yummy on the campfire, right? What, what are you previewing for us here? Well, this would be, a, they would call it a hobo meal. So we've got a chicken breast sliced up and onions, carrots, celery, and a little fresh garlic and then a little secret seasoning. I was going to say, you shared your secret seasoning with me earlier. Are you going to share it with everyone or no? No, just that one's just for you. <laughs> Ooh, I love it. I love it. All right, so of course, you've got to have great food when you're camping. What are some other camping must-haves that you should definitely have with you? You know, the, the traditional standby foods, hamburgers, hot dogs, steaks, and that's one of my favorite things, especially when I drive through when people are having supper, to smell it all on the grill and all out being cooked. Wait, i got to ask, how many people invite you over to take a bite? Quite a few. <laughs> so that's like one of the perks. Obviously. All right, so when it comes to, let's say, bug spray and sunscreen or anything else you want to have at your campsite, safety-wise? Yeah, um, we have a little, just like anywhere, mosquito problem, any kind of insects, no seams. So, yeah, bug spray is always handy, uh, at least a 30 on your sunscreen, especially nowadays. Uh, I always recommend, especially if you have a camper, it's good to have fire extinguisher. Mm. Um, and it's always just good to keep an eye on what's going on around your campsite. Uh, we had a little problem with yellow jackets a little earlier on in the week and had to spray them out. And uh, it's just uh, keep an eye and be aware of what's going on. Yeah, it's the outdoors, so you kind of never know what can happen, right? True. All right, well, we got to let you go so you can get that on the campfire for us because we're excited to try it later. Thank you so much. Yeah.